Hi, uh, today I'd like to show you a modification I did for the T-Rex 150DFC um, to eliminate the problem that it's tail heavy. Um, CG is uh, like this when you get the heli out of the box and use the battery in the original position and that's not a good thing or not a good CG uh, for a helicopter, the helicopter needs to uh, be flat um, when you take it like this for example and that what you see here is exactly what happens when you have the original battery position uh, for your heli, that's a CG instead of this more or less and yeah let's have a look under the canopy uh, as you can see what I did what I changed to get the perfect CG. Um, I just cut off a few uh, parts of the landing skid. Um, also, at the front, I took off the plug, the battery plug. Uh, I had to because I wanted to put the battery more in the front. And what also happened is that I uh, bend up the front part of the landing skid, I hope you can see it, and uh, that it looks up uh, at the front um, and then later I will install the battery that you can see exactly what the position is now. And then I took a little velcro from a lion, cut it down to the right size um, to make a holder for the battery. When I take the battery now and put it in I have to take off the canopy for sure. Better thing in original position is that you don't need to take off the canopy. For in this with this modification, you need to take it off. But uh, I prefer to take it off and have a perfect CG than the other, than the upper side. Well, that's how it looks when it's installed. As you can see, it's. Uh, much more in the front of the heli when I took another battery you can see it's uh, an original position is more or less like this so we're around 1.5 centimeters more in the front and that's uh, a pretty good place for perfect CG you can put on the canopy without modifications on my heli I have uh, um, Rack and Haley uh, fiberglass canopy, and that really fits perfect without uh, any modifications. I can show you. Let's put on the plug and then go for the canopy just like this. Well, everything is tiny so always have to find the right position for everything come on so here we go so perfect now as you can see the battery is more or less in the canopy and when we check out the CG, turn around and hold it like this and you can see the heli stays pretty flat and that looks as it's a more or less perfect CG. With this modification you don't need to uh, put any weight into the nose of the heli to get a good CG and what is really important that you uh, remember when you use spectrum then you need the satellite transmitter or not satellite transmitter satellite receiver <laughs> and there you need some space for a receiver between the plate and electronic plate and the battery so the battery will be more flat in the heli and perhaps you will get in trouble to install the canopy without modification. You have to try. Uh, I fly with Futaba, so 
there is no need for a satellite receiver absolutely no problem with the space and I really recommend uh, the modification you almost don't have to spend any money for this and um, yeah I like perfect CG's on every model so uh, I did it on this I do it on my planes also and it's really helpful to have a great flying heli I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I hope you try what happens when you change the CG like this and yeah have fun with your T-Rex 150 DFC thanks for watching bye